I'm Juby and this is Justin and this is our baby Azalea. After we got married we bought a bus and for the last two years have been building it out into our full-time home. Living in a tiny house community form and raising our ever-growing baby. So join us for the ride as we quit the 9 to 5 and begin our travels in our big red pepper. Welcome back to another video. Today we are passing through a town called Ruskin for a few days, staying at a boondockers welcome which has been a godsend and they suggested a manatee viewing center. It just so happens to be I guess by this huge electrical plant that is for like the entire of this town. Let's go see manatees hopefully and look how insane this electrical plant is. I don't think I've ever been this up close to one. It's scary looking and looks like there's a lot of pollution. It's quite disappointing. Makes me grateful for using solar, but also hopeful to find alternative energy resources. Hi, Zelia. How was your nap? <laughs> Let's roll ski. Welcome to Tampa Electric's Manatee Viewing Center. You are now open to clean, warm water discharge. The white plumes coming out of the power plant stacks are water vapor. The vapor forms in a manner similar to common fog. As a result of the station's flue gas desulfurization, or FGD, process. This thermal reaction occurs when the hotter wet stack gases come in contact with the cooler air in the environment. The hotter exhaust is wet because of the cleaning process used by the FGD system, also known as a scrubber. Hey. <laughs> what do you think, babe, about this place? Weird fusion of man and nature. Sea cows are cool. <laughs> Power stations or not. Tell me a joke. Why are manatees called manatees? Why? Because they like tea. You <laughs> know? <laughs> Is it? That is not a toothpick. Oh my god. Welcome friends to Juliana's Cooking Corner where she cooks up delicious meals for your pleasure. May I present to you the one and only Juliana. But first, before we introduce Juliana, our favorite guests is here in the studio with us today, Azalea. Azalea, <laughs> tell me about your life. No wonder the lens is always so gross and dirty. Thank you, Azalea. Now, back to Juliana. Right here. Let me just clean this. Thanks, <laughs> babe. Okay, so you guys have always asked us about uh, recipes and more cooking videos, and so we thought we would bring you a cooking video. I think she wants to be in it, of course, the star. Oh, can you take her? I can't. I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Azalea hates cooking. <laughs> Just Not kidding. true, she likes cooking. So we've never made this recipe before and we're kind of going off the cuff. We're also kind of been going over budget on food, so we're trying to just use everything that we have. I'm speaking. It's my, it's my turn to speak. 
that's where you're wrong. It's actually Do you want to be in it? Turn. Does she have a poop? No. <laughs> so this is what we're cooking. A butternut squash gnocchi soup with mushrooms and collards. And it's going to be like a creamy coconut base with a slight cheesy flavor. What you're going to need is your collards, gnocchi, garlic, an onion, bruised onion, <laughs> mushrooms, cheap and pre-sliced, although sadly in plastic. Coconut milk. <laughs> There's some magical fingers around it or something. Butternut squash. <laughs> Smoky paprika chipotle. Justin's combination of all his favorite spices. <laughs> Not. <laughs> and yep, yeah, random salt and pepper. Olive oil that's actually vegetable oil. But it would be nicer if it was olive oil. Better than bouillon. Veggie bouillon. Also, nutritional yeast. That thanks to Summer and David, we call Nooch. Nooch is not advertising or sponsoring this video. <laughs> we just enjoy it. <laughs> so with that said, I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna basically start by sauteing the butternut squash. We don't have an oven, otherwise I'd roast it. I'll probably saute the butternut squash and the onion together and then puree that with the coconut milk and the veggie broth in the Vitamix. And then saute the collards with the mushrooms and some garlic and then throw that all in a big pot and add the gnocchi. Here Time for an advertisement. This video is brought to you by Dark and Stormy. When you're a parent and you're losing your mind, pour yourself a Dark and Stormy. It'll make <laughs> your day bright and sunny. Side note, ingredients to the Dark and Stormy are here. Thanks, Tubes. Back to the show. So... If I had been roasting this butternut squash, I would have just like sliced it in half and chopped out all its innards Sounds and thrown really it brutal. in the oven without peeling the skin off. But because we don't have um, an oven, I'm just peeling the skin off so we can throw it in the skillet and saute it. I'm gonna cube it so that it cooks faster. Doesn't have to be anything special because it's all gonna get pureed anyways. Tell us, what's the secret to an iron skillet? I'm gonna grease your pan. Grease it up and turn it on now, baby. And this is what happens when I cook. I tend to make a really big mess, but that's okay, because, oops, sorry, <laughs> We haven't even touched the mushrooms, and there's a mushroom on the floor. Uh, that was the Celia. She's the one that ripped open the packet. Zay what'd you find? Okay. What is it? Is that a mushroom? <gasps> Can I have it? Oh, <gasps> thank you! Oh, she wants to eat it. Yeah, Hang on. Never eat it, wash it. Why are you blowing it? Oil. I'll probably put about a tablespoon of this stuff. It'll give it like a nice kind of earthy, meaty kind of flavor, I guess. Some salt. And mix. Throw it in this iron skillet, cover her up and let her cook a bit. Once the pan gets really hot, I'll probably throw in a bit of water and let it steam a bit and cook it faster. Onwards with this. Wash it. What video is this? This is a cooking video. I cut it in like really fine slithers. Since we live in a bus, I'm just gonna keep reusing dishes. That can go to one side so I can chop my onion. All alone? What is she eating? Oh, but I'm what? Starving. Give her another mushroom. Here, Azalea. It doesn't really matter how you cut it because I'm just going to puree it. But I do want to saute it with our butter and our squash. So I'm also gonna throw in a clove of garlic in there with the butternut squash. So you can hit it like this, but I feel like I've given myself issues with my wrist, so I now punch it with the side. So I actually feel like this is a really authentic way to crush garlic. So you keep it here as your clove. I'm gonna just tap it one more time and it really crushes it down. And then you can almost just dice it right there. We 
we interrupt this cooking broadcast again for a brief interlude for Justin to have a conversation with his sister. And for Juby and Azalea to make a dance party in the bus. <laughs> All right, friends. So your butternut squash is gonna be pretty much done. If you're roasting it when the skin is kind of peeling away from the inside and you poke it with a fork and it's nice and soft, and it's soft here, it's kind of mushing. So I have my Vitamix here ready to go with my bouillon, nooch, and coconut milk, which you should always shake up before you put in anything that you're cooking. Over here, I'm gonna grease my skillet back up. And I'm gonna throw in my collards, my mushrooms. Let that sizzle up. Add a little salt, give it a wee stir, and let that cook down a bit. Julia couldn't wait until the soup was finished, so she's eating a la carte without the liquid. Sizzle, what are you eating? So you have to be careful with coconut milk. Sometimes it solidifies on the surface, which is why normally when you shake it, it helps. You put about a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Let's see, with this bouillon, about half a tablespoon. And blend. So, as you can see, she's looking pretty creamy and delish. Taste check, approved. I've got some water boiling over here. Um, just to make it a little bit less creamy and more soupy. And I'm just gonna pour all of that in there. Give it a little mix. It looks so good. And then, typical juby, don't leave much space for anything else. I'm gonna throw in the veg and the gnocchi. Whoa, <laughs> get crazy with it. So gnocchi takes about three minutes to cook. Can't say that I'm a professional at this dish just yet. This is the first time I've made it. Here we go. Well, friends, there you have it. A butternut squash, coconut cream soup with mushrooms, collards, and onion, garlic, and like a spicy paprika chipotle flavor. Hungry. Ready to eat, Azalea is thoroughly enjoying her gnocchi. Yeah, let's eat. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you try it, obviously cater it a little bit to your liking, add more salt, add more veggie broth, add more whatever you need, make it more creamy, make it more cheesy, whatever you want it to be, make it your way and interpret what I just made the way you'd like to enjoy your dinner. And with that, have a lovely evening and we'll see you guys super soon.